this quilt, known as a pictorial quilt, is one of the most innovative examples of visual storytelling in 19th century American art. It was created by a former slave named Harriet Powers in 1898. This is the second of two quilts that we have by Powers. This quilt is different from other contemporary quilts in that while many comparable quilts are beautifully decorative, this quilt depicts narrative scenes. By transforming an oral tradition into a strategy of visual storytelling, this quilt is a sermon-made material. To better understand this visually refined and conceptually complex work of art, we need to ask several questions. What story or stories is Powers telling? And furthermore, how is she telling these stories? These questions lead us into our creative technique and visual method. This quilt is composed of 15 pictorial scenes, but we only have time to examine a few of them. Some panels depict stories from the Bible. These biblical narratives are interspersed with panels depicting more recent, but no less astonishing events. The first panel depicts the life of Job. He was a man who endured almost every kind of suffering, but never lost faith in God. In another panel, we see Jonah being cast out of a boat. Jonah is being swallowed by a large fish sent by God to rescue him. The last panel depicts the crucifixion of Christ. Powers visualizes how the sun miraculously changed from light to dark. These stories from the Bible are interwoven with stories of more recent events. One panel depicts an episode on May 19, 1780, when seven stars were seen at noon. And on November 13, 1833, stars were seen falling from the sky. The terrified people thought that this was the end of the world. How did Powers find these modern stories? These stories were part of an oral history passed within the African-American community from one generation to the next. In this quilt, Powers translated an oral tradition into a visual form. These stories, both the scenes from the Bible as well as the more recent events, probably carried multiple levels of meaning for Powers. The trials of Job and Jonah might have sustained her own faith in God through extremely difficult ordeals. And perhaps the modern celestial events were interpreted as signs that God was still spiritually active. To realize this sermon in quilting, Powers developed an exceptional visual language. Her figures and forms are often made from pieces of cloth with intricate patterning. These figures and forms are then strongly contrasted against flat fields of color. They gently impose themselves onto the viewer's imagination. The conceptual and theological complexity of these narratives is made accessible by the visual clarity and immediacy of her method. By interweaving biblical narratives and modern events, Powers gave a visual form to an oral tradition of storytelling that was vital within her African-American community.